Howdy, 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 everybody. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and welcome to... Wait, wait, wait. What is this? This is Blaster Master Zero. Oh, <laughs> I got some new... I got a new little capture thing I can capture directly from a console, so I'm playing it on the Switch. Uh, in the near future on planet Earth, many kinds of creature once coexisted on this verdant planet. Verdant. I like that word. But after countless wars and untold environmental destruction, the planet plunged into an ice age. Humanity was left with no choice but to migrate en masse underground. Is that what we're going to have to go through? I don't want to. I'm not claustrophobic, but I don't want to. When the Ice Age finally came to an end, humans began developing methods while they were living underground to one day restore their planet to the lush green landscape it once was. Yeah, that's pretty good. During this time, a large mysterious comet fell to the Earth. Remember that, folks. However, the progress of, the restor of restoring their lost ecosystem, you see the words, well, and humanity was eventually able to live in, on the surface again. I English good. <laughs> Several hundred years have passed since then. Oh my. Enter a young man named Jason Frudnick. No. Known for being a genius in the field of robotic engineering. Oh, hey. Oh, I would like to know that the last name does come from that old Worlds of Power novelization of the original game. Just saying. No records of the creature existed. By the way, frog. It is a frog. With, with a... thing. Jinx named it Fred. <laughs> because, of course, we have to shoehorn Fred in somehow. But after some time had passed, Fred escaped. Of course he does! Jason gave chase, and he observed Fred jump, jumping into a mysterious hole that appeared seemingly out of nowhere. Wow. He was rather astonished by the phenomenon he witnessed. But Jason followed Fred down the same hole. He eventually found himself in a cave deep underground. That's where he discovered a large vehicle. A large one. Oh, it was just Sophia the Third. <laughs> Almost as if this vehicle with the name Sophia the Third on the side, see, was inviting him in. The door to the cockpit opened up, and then he died. Now, in order to bring Fred back, Jason hopped into Sophia the Third and set out on his adventure. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're just gonna go. You know, not gonna question much. Little did he know, the strange phenomena were only just getting started. <laughs> so yes, Blaster Master Zero, um, just to show off a little bit, I, I haven't gone through the entire game, at least not on the Switch yet, done it on the 3DS plenty of times, but um, got some uh, EX character mode, I've got Gunvolt down right now, uh, the other one is not supposed to be out till June, I'm, I'm recording this way before then, you guys should see it before then anyway, um, so, got a couple of games going. Well, a few games going, actually. That one I used to test some of the recording equipment. Actually, I used all of them for that. But anyway, we're going to go right here. And here we go. Area 1. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo. You feel the vibes on this thing, too. Is this one of those underground forest areas they made during the last Ice Age? Hundreds of years have passed, but the ecosystem is alive and well. It would seem that the preservation system is still functioning somehow. Better keep my guard up. Never know what could still be here. Yeah, it could be anything from aliens to mutants to whatever the fuck this thing is. To young women in, in random areas. Hi. Sure, that's your attack. Try and, try and Super Mario on me and you totally miss. Um, in terms of recording, um, how these recordings are going to play out, I'll end up doing them like area by area. Um, so like this one will be area one and then area two and so on and so forth. Just like I did the original. Um, give it a nice, give it a nice good, uh, oh, thought, thought you were going to escape me, didn't you? All right, I don't need those. Oh, story time. Fred's signal was definitely being transmitted from the forest area. Receiver was being displayed on the monitor. Guess I'm pretty lucky that Sophia has a functionality like this. With the receiver, I'm able to get a general idea of where Fred is. Can't help but wonder how Sophia can track his signal, though. Then again, I don't really know how anything in this machine works yet. Alright. So we have the receiver. It's off by default. It's a good idea to turn it on. 
Save point! Ah. Yeah, and I'm actually going to 100%... Oh, hello. As I was saying, I'm going to 100% this, so... So, levels will be a little bit longer than they were when I did the original. Hi, how you doing? There we are. Ooh. All right. Things work just like, pretty much like they did before. You know, you get your gunpower. Except, you can actually choose your uh, gunpower level here, like so. Which is pretty neat. So, whoop. There we go. And you act, and your sub weapons, actually, you, once I get more, you can switch them, and they have a finite amount of uh, uses before you have to refill them. So, eh. But you also get maps. Holy shit! You don't have to rely on game guides or anything. You just open up the map. It tells you where everything in the level is. Like so. But well, maybe not at this point. <laughs> Man, that's a small level. That's the inside of a room. Huh. Take the music though. Uh. And also dig the rem remix of the level one music from the original. All right. Oh, fun little thing you can do. It's not it's not useful so much in this mode, but walk over as Jason. Bring Sophia right to you. <laughs> now I can show off the true map capabilities. Shows the entire area. That little. As you can see, you got little dungeons. Uh, no control rooms here. Uh, retry point, that's, those are your save points. Area portal, we don't have those here. Warp point, that goes to the next area, or previous areas, or whatever. Uh, you have where the bosses are. Life up, which is over here. But we can't get to it, there's a tree in the way. And so on and so forth. Now, ah. Yeah, this is off to a great start, isn't it? Um... You might think I'm crazy, but whoop! Just a little preview of things that are inevitably to come. Whoop. Hi, how you doing? Alright, swim, swim, swim! Swim, 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 swim. Now, in the original, you didn't really have much of. You know, they didn't really. Well, they encouraged it, but if you knew where to go, you, you weren't exactly forced to go to all these other different parts of the area. Oh, I got another one almost down there. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah, and another another upgrade from the original as opposed to uh, this is well, you have multiple bosses in an area. Bosses, mini-bosses, you know, whatever. You have these save rooms before each boss or mini-boss. Some of them have these, some of them don't. Ooh. Going in here with suboptimal gunpower. Not a not a way I want to play, but you know, hey. The layer of thousand vios. These things! I remember you from the original game. Ooh. Hello! Yeah, I remember the original game, I used to just like spam grenades on these guys. Can't do so here. You only have 10 of them. Well, you can, but you run out of ammo pretty quickly. Alright, ooh. Rapid fire! Oh, oh, shit, 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 Come on. I went a little down! Ooh. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Hi! <laughs> yeah, like I needed that. <laughs> Oh, I love this one. I think this one is called... Yeah, the Striker. Watch this. Something that hits all enemies in a room? Yes, please. The Thunderbreaker. Hmm. Looks like this chip can restore one of Sophia's functions. 
Data analyzed by the chip is being displayed inside my helmet. I get the feeling that there are more chips like this out there. Yep, there are. Makes me wonder who just who in the world made all of this tech. Man, I'd love to dig into all of this, but I gotta focus on finding Fred. I'm, we'll find out who made all this tech, eventually. All right, so that area is done. The thousand, thousand vios, yeesh. Sure felt like a thousand, Ugh. but not too bad. I will give, I will give this, I will give the game this. It's not too overly difficult so far. I mean, recent, you know, recently as of this video, they did, uh, one of the updates was put a uh, harder mode, destroyer mode, which, oh god, that's still breaking my balls. Uh, and, and yes, I will eventually get to that on this as well. I'll, I'll do uh, three runs. There, here's the, this one's just the normal run. Hi! Yeah, this one's just your normal run. There will be a destroyer run, and there's also going to be a uh, gunvolt one as well. Oop. Oop. Oh dear. It's up here. Oh, you. Hi. Ha ah, ah. ha. Alrighty. Alright, gun power's all filled up. Everything's good. Let's save and go in. Drap trappers, or. Yeah, Drap Trappers. Very Drapper, indeed. <laughs> Whoop. Alrighty. Hi! How you doing? Yeah, as you can see, they drop bombs. And they'll detonate. Woo! Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Like I said, the normal mode is not very difficult, especially compared to the original. <laughs> but it works, so. The ignition bomb. Looks like this chip lets me use a new sub-weapon. Gotta figure out how to read my surroundings and use the best weapons for the situation at hand. Yeah, or you can just blast through everything. Alrighty. And yes, the falling damage works just like it does in the original. You fall, like, you fall like one block higher than Jason, you take some damage. And he higher than that is fatal. I don't know why. Well, I say higher than his jump height. Let me let me correct myself. Whee! Another underwater area. Ow! Asshole. Hey, you took off two damage? What the Chief us. What are you doing up here? Go away. You know, they have this they had this in the original. I don't know why they need the ladder in the water area. When you come out, sure, but Alright. Ready to just blast on, blast on, blast on, blasting on. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, the good thing about this, um is like is the first area is generally unchanged for the most part. You know, you saw the overworld section. If you played the original, you know pretty much where you're going. Um, yeah. uh, I missed. I prefer using the uh, striker most from yeah for the most part, simply because you can hit multiple enemies and clear out your way a little bit faster. Oh, if I needed that, if I needed that, kaboom. Ah, and it took me a while. It, I didn't realize it on my first run through, but you know, you have these little cracks here in the barriers. I mean, I've seen them, you'll see them like in the walls or, or whatever, but then you can just go on through. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Today is a good day for you to die. Ah. Woo! That music, though. Alright, what's next? Oh, hey! So. Yeah, did I mention I like the striker? Although this works just as well. <laughs> Look where you're going, dude. 
Alrighty. We're gonna set things on fire! What the hell is that? Some giant mutant? It's a brain. Damn it. I guess I gotta do this. You beat two other bosses before. Why are you... I think story-wise I'm supposed to come in here first. Different music. I admit, I love the boss music for this. Set it on fire. That was easy. <laughs> Didn't even really get the chance to show it off. But don't worry. You know, you know there'll be other times. Um, yeah. So, yes. And just like the original, you get the hyper shot. And what happens with the hyper shot? Well, it increases the power of Sophia's cannon. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. Ow, 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 ow. There we are. Oh, and away we go. Whoop. Looks like Fred's signal isn't coming from the forest area anymore. Let's see. Looks like it's coming from some kind of residential area. That is actually pretty close by. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Or road on the show, as I want to say it. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, damn it. So used to playing in game type stuff, and I keep forgetting that I don't have certain abilities yet. And this. Oh! Before I go, before I go, before I go, before I go. Yeah. Without the without the hyper upgrade, those enemies would have been invincible. So There we go. Up we go, up we go. Switch to my lightning. Because I can. Hi, how you doing? No you don't. Yeah. Oh, here we go. And life up. Maximum increase. Increase your life by one. Whee! And yes, there is one in every main area. Of course. Because of course there is. Alrighty. And in we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering how this is all going to turn out. Because I'm doing a very new thing. Uh, well, new for me. Maybe new old thing for me. In getting things synced up. So this is the residential area. This sure, this place sure has seen better days. Looks like there's mutants here. Gotta make my way through carefully. Signal source is displayed on my monitor. Let's see where it leads. Yeah, there it is. And there it is up in the upper right. But for now, we're gonna end it here, cause hey, area two. <laughs> and hopefully this turns out okay. Um, I have to use like several different sources just to put everything together. Jeebus. Um, so yeah. At any rate, um, wow, what, what happened to my voice there? <laughs> uh, at any rate, I hope you guys did enjoy this, and I hope you guys look forward to more. Uh, there will be more. Um, I might try and do another, I might try and do a little bit of Breath of the Wild while I've got access to this. Because um, the Switch is not mine, the Switch is my, my mom's. So, you know, she's let me use it to record some stuff, because I really want to record this for you guys, so it's so it's awesome. Um, any rate, uh, I do hope you enjoy it. Uh, and I hope you'll look forward to more to come. Uh, next time we're going to go through this little residential area. I say little. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everybody. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.